All right, let's hear what this 1987 uh, Granada, Greg Rich Granada, sounds like. If you like these uh, videos, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Here it comes. <laughs> shot a video for a few weeks now but so in 1987 Greg Rich came back to uh, Gibson and consulted people like Curtis McPeak Sonny Osborne to try to recreate the Gibson banjo so the first year which was 87 some people think are the best of the Greg Rich Granadas and this is an 87 and it's really cool it's in really good condition, uh, all original, and we can even look at it. We'll uh, do a close-up. Uh, now, you'll notice on these, uh, all the Gibsons, that the armrest always has a little wear there. But uh, you can look at the gold, looks really good. Uh, now, something that's really special on the 87s, they had this satin gold tone ring. You know, so instead of being shiny, it was satin gold, and that's why you can uh, tell in an 87, and uh, they're very highly sought after. Now we'll go up the uh, neck, and you can see the inlays and all that. Great condition. All right, and I'm going to turn it over here. And you'll notice that there's very... Actually, if you look at the second fret on a banjo, you'll know that if it's been played. So there's two little marks on the second fret, but, but the rest of the frets pretty much have either no or very little wear. So let's look up the back of the neck, and uh, you can see the uh, really good... Uh, you can see the general condition... Okay, right there, and we go up to the headstock. You'll see it has the keys that say Gibson on them. We'll come back down to the resonator, and you'll see there's a little wear here, which is pretty common. But uh, 
if you have a chance to buy an 87, I don't care what it looks like. You need to buy it because it's like heaven on earth. Okay, so there's the uh, resonator. And then we take the resonator off. And of course you see the uh, Gibson seal in there. Um, and of course you'll see that the tone ring is satin everywhere. And I think that's uh, pretty much everything I'm gonna say about the banjo. If you uh, want to contact us or want to see one of our instruments, you can go to BanjoWarehouse.com. You can also call us. Uh, we're near the Atlanta airport. Um, we're in the area all the time because we live about five minutes from here. If you want to come visit us, just uh, let us know at least a day in advance. We'll make sure we're here. We can see you in the night. We can see you Saturday and Sunday, whenever you want to come. But always give us a little notice because sometimes we'll get in the car and we'll drive maybe to, uh, you know, 100, 200 miles and we'll buy a banjo. So that's basically it. So uh, that's it. And if you have any questions, let us know. And you guys have a wonderful day.